grateful for you, you to come tonight. I'd like to invite uh, Margaret to, to come up and uh, to do her normal introductions. It's my pleasure to actually introduce a very special personality from Pakistan, Mr. Mian Jali Ahmad Sharakpur. Yeah. Um, and he's um, and a member of parliament in, in Pakistan, but he does a lot of good work with England. The person who introduced us to him is Mr. Aurangzeb Akbar, who is a very, very wonderful ambassador for peace, really works hard. We don't have to ask him anything. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. First of all, I want to thank you for this organization, Universal Peace Federation. When my friend introduced me, basically this slogan is from my heart. And I also work for this slogan from my student life. And when I go to National Assembly of Pakistan, and then I work in as a mayor of District Shehupura, and now I am a member of parliament in Punjab, and basically, I always work for whole world and for, for peace of whole world. And our grandfather also distributed the love and peace <coughs> for us. I only say thank you to give me the chance to come in this great place, this organization, and thank for all ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, thank Margaret, Keith, Robin for all the wonderful and beautiful work that you do. Um, it's been a, a major part of our, our recent activity uh, for inviting and introducing, etc. So I'd like to invite my friend to the, to the stage. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Robin mentioned about the World Summit. It's actually, it's not a World Summit, it's one of a series of World Summits uh, that we've been doing for annually since, I, I, was it the first one in 2014? I'm not sure what it's <coughs> That um, UPF is this global network of individuals uh, who are dedicated to building a world of peace centered on universal spiritual and moral values. And uh, this, is, this is basically what we want to make. These spiritual and moral values are what we think ought to pertain in the highest levels of decision-making in the world. That's the point, basic point. It's a mystery to many people. I know um, I put not giving any secrets away. When Robin Marsh uh, met with David Miliband, who was then Foreign Secretary, mm -hmm. David Miliband was absolutely fascinating. He, the, the Foreign Office knows about this link, knows about the sort of special influence from there to, to um, have sensationalism and to set people against each other. They don't have the same values of, you know, trying to make peace, then uh, they approach is getting the recognition of official parliamentarians. But this is what we'll see later is between beyond race, religion, nationality, as members of IAPP, including quite a number of them raised in the European Union. The point being that people who have been heads of state and government, we see how they have to accept the political implications of what they do right, obviously, which is easier than what they do wrong, which is political. He was just there to to um, have sensationalism and to set people against each other. We don't have a sense of that and, and uh, understand it. So, thank you for listening. <laughs> Introduce uh, Mr. Mian Jalil Ahmed Khuri. He's a Pakistani politician who's been a member of the Provincial Assembly of Punjab since October 2018. Previously, he was a member of the National Assembly of Pakistan from 2002 to 2007. Any politician who's really a, a true politician is, is a servant of his people. Is a servant who should uh, try to pass legislation, try to make initiatives which makes the lives of the people better. And uh, someone who comes to represent his 
uh, a constituency and so on, they have the mind to try to bring things to make their people's lives better. And for that reason, they become also re-elected. And I heard, heard many wonderful things about the Minister Shah Kari. And I would like to welcome you to the stage. I'd like to welcome you to the stage. Thank you very much. And Orange, um, uh, we can. I never ever have seen <coughs> such a people, those working really seriously for the peace. Since I have been friend of our respectable personality at almost over 23 years. The thing is whenever he elected for any different parties, opposition or in the government, he always worked for the peace, he always helped the poor. So that's what I was thinking and I took right decision to bring this right person to this right organization. So please give me a <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for all and especially the organization of Universal Peace Federation and I feel proud now I am the part of this organization and I will work in Pakistan and I can work in all of the world for all of them and I feel from my heart we are all human beings and many times I think why a person ready to kill to the other we should work for peace, we, we should work for love. Inshallah, uh, we will work together in all of the world and we can change the world if we work together from our heart. Thank you very much.